Good morning guys, David Folk here with Hardy Greaves Golf Shops and today we have a lot to do. We're going to be posting some clubs up on our eBay store which you can see down here in the description. Uh, take a look at those. We're going to be taking Jack Jack to preschool uh, this afternoon. I'm going to be unloading some more pods this, this morning because uh, I didn't finish all that because Granny needed help. And we have golf practice today after our great tournament performance yesterday. Uh, the guys got first place and the girls got second place, which is awesome. Uh, we're looking really great as we move into conference tournaments and head toward districts. So a uh, little work to do here and there with uh, different players, but overall, we're looking fantastic. So let's go putz around. Hit the ball! Well, just got done with the pods. It was a success. Take a look and see. All empty. That's right, folks. Took about an hour or so to empty it all up. Um, and then I put it all in the garage. We're looking at getting a shed for some stuff as well. So uh, everything's moved out. Pods are gonna go back. Looking good, house looking awesome, ready to move forward. Woo! One of the big things that our team is currently struggling with, um, and this young man actually uh, shows the same propensity to do the same things, is too much wrist hinge as they pull the club back. You can see there that he brings it back, and we're gonna watch this in a second, how much wrist hinge he has. Now he has his face, his feet open to the path, um, and he's actually going to try and chip it. So he's gonna hold off the club and try and pop the ball up in the air a little more. You can see as we scroll through here, how much wrist tension he actually has. His face, his feet are pointing very, very, very um, right of the, of the path of which he's hitting, yet look how much he pulls that club inside his body. That, that shows you how much wrist he's actually using which is going to require him to be precise in bringing that club face back to impact square um, with just more of his wrist than anything else. All right, we're out here at Lakeview Golf Course. Um, we're gonna work on a couple of drills that I think is really gonna be beneficial for you guys. The first one is gonna be a one-handed swing with your lead hand. So for me, being a lefty, it's gonna be my right hand. And really all I want us to do is to work on one solid motion from your shoulder to your arm, basically nice and straight. No bend at the elbow, no nothing. It's gonna look like my hand here, nice and down. One smooth motion, nice and low. One smooth motion, nice and low. One smooth motion, nice and low. That's the idea, is to get that arm basically doing all of the work. No wrist hinge, none of this. Just back and forth, back and forth. Now, you may not hit the ball well, you may not hit it very far, that's where practice is gonna come in. You do this drill often, then all of a sudden you're gonna start seeing a lot more improvement with your chipping. So, a couple more times. One-handed, just back and through. Back and through. All big muscle here. None of none of this. None of that. Okay? All one motion. It's gonna be the big muscle in your shoulder that's gonna be moving. It's gonna be warm today. Unlike yesterday. 30 degrees. Ooh, see that you have temperature. That is amazing. <laughs> I didn't know the window falls down. Yeah, but I sure have a temperature, have temperature gauge. Assuming it's accurate. <laughs> I think it's pretty accurate. Oh, good. Uh, I had a Ford Taurus. I don't know if I've told you about it. Had leather seats, digital speedometer. You could push buttons and change like the kilometers an hour. And, um, we had a. We have had a fuel like to empty number on it. Huh. So it was a, what was a 1987 oh. Ford Taurus. Was it a show? 
Yeah, I think it was. <laughs> Fancy. And uh, but it Woo. didn't have the air conditioning didn't work. <laughs> so it was like all leather. So you're like. <laughs> Or my sisters kept burning their legs on it because it would just heat up and it wasn't like the, the new like fake leather, right? So it was like legit leather. It was it was a little shady actually. You could take the steering wheel and go like this and it wouldn't move. You just keep going straight. So. And when I was driving it, someone ran me into a guardrail. It was like, and uh, but they didn't hit me. It was like I didn't want to get hit, and so I kind of veered over, and so put a huge scrape on the side, which totaled the vehicle. Oh, so <laughs> yeah, it was that awesome. Um, and so my dad's like, "Well, I don't want to pay," and it would have been like fifteen hundred dollars to to fix the front end because they're like, it needed I think new brakes, but in order for them to do the new brakes, they had to do a new whole new front end huh. stuff, right? Suspension and everything. And so it was like, I was like, no. It's, it's Yeah? Uh, I wouldn't call my totaling a car. It's not like I I like rammed into anybody. It was like it was I like, ran into somebody. Like all mashed up. It was like a lot like a dent streak down the side. And that, your car was so crappy. <laughs> it totaled itself pretty much. Probably already was. Yeah, probably, yeah. It was like uh, oh you need to uh you need to put a new tire on it? Oh no, it's it's totaled. Sorry, sir. Don't go to Napa and buy brakes. Yeah, yeah. $50? Oh, uh, no. More than the value of the car. The second drill I want us to think about, and I'm on a, I'm on a little bit of a down slope here, but I want us to think about taking a putting stroke. Again, that's going to promote this arm from doing any of this. And it's going to be nice and back. And so I like to put my club uh, in the back of my stance to try and hood it a little bit. So I'm gonna stand like this and put it and then take that putting stroke and just nice and easy, all shoulders, none, no wrists. And that's gonna allow me to stay down through the ball, put more spin on it, because as you come through it, the ball's gonna climb up the face as opposed to trying to just hit up on it. It's, the ball's gonna be hit, climb up, and then go. And what I like about that stroke is you can actually put it in the back of your stance, put it in the middle of your stance, or put it in the front of your stance and take the exact same swing and that allows you to get less height, more roll, medium height, medium roll, or higher, and then less roll. So it promotes consistency and it gives you a variety of shots that you can use. So those are the two drills that I'd recommend uh, that student use as well as I recommend my students to use as well. We just got home from practice. We played best ball with a couple of guys who are going to be playing in the tournament this weekend, so that was fun. If you like our channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. Give us a thumbs up. YouTube likes that. And uh, we look forward to hearing your comments about uh, the chipping and kind of a couple of the drills that we talked about. Did they help you? Did there something else that you think might help you or has helped you in the past? We'd like to hear that as well. Uh, thanks again, and we look forward to seeing you next time. I mean, it's like, boom, right?